everyone welcome back sorry it's been such a long time since i filmed a video i've just been useless at everything lately i've just been it's like i'm full of excuses work has been crazy and busy and i have just like not had the energy to film anything but i'm gonna try i say this all the time i'm gonna try and get back into like regularly shooting youtube videos for you guys and today was a perfect excuse to do that because my empties bag as you know i keep in my bathroom is like i use i've got like an olive bonus bag it's like rammed for stuff so i was like this is the perfect excuse now to like get back into filming um, and we're going to start off with an empties. I'm going to film another video straight after this. So yeah, hopefully we'll get the ball rolling again. So as always, go like and subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a thousand YouTube subscribers. I know I'm not helping myself because I, I'm not posting very often, but you know if you would subscribe if you like this video i would love you forever um write a little comment or a question underneath if you want to have a question about any of these products and yeah let's just dive in because there's like a lot of stuff to go through um a lot of stuff is like general bathroom stuff there are a lot of skincare products in here as well i'm just gonna pick stuff up at random i'm not gonna do like you know cleansers toners and that anyway so first thing as always with me is a cleanser because i go through like cleansers are probably the products that i go through the fastest and this is the jane scrivener um nourishing cream cleansing melt which looks like this um i had this in the karen hyron's um i think it's like an autumn kit and i literally fell in love with it it's i think it's totally totally there's a little bit left inside there um it's like a really gorgeous buttery cleansing balm um i use it as my first cleanse when i have makeup on and it will melt away anything like spf eye makeup like the heaviest foundations concealers and it just turns into this gorgeous oil which then turns into a milk with water and it just like melts everything off your face i love it because it doesn't leave a residue it smells incredible and it leaves your skin feeling like really soft and hydrated it doesn't feel stripped afterwards when you buy one of these as well they come with the most amazing cleansing mitts um and i've actually bought like another two sets of cleansing mitts and another cleanser because i love it so if you love in a cleansing balm go check this out because it's gorgeous and you literally only need to use like a thumbnail amount so this will last you forever a little goes a very long way i'm gonna be faffing with my hair so much i can tell already and then we have some salts because <laughs> I've been taking a lot of baths lately. We have four, no, three packets of salts, bath salts. So I've got the Soak In Magnesium Flake Salts. These are really, really nice. Um, I just love like any like magnesium or Epsom salts or anything to calm and relax me. Like especially like after work because work's been super stressful. So anything just to kind of like chill me out. These were lovely. I picked this up in a little local shop where I live. And then I've fallen in love with these lows. So this is the West Lab Mindful ones. And they got um, Himalayan salts, frankincense and bergamot in there. And they smell amazing. Like these are probably now my favourite. They sell them in like Tesco's or Sainsbury's. You can pick them up anywhere. I think they're like pit on offer like £3 for a giant one kilo tub. So go check those out and then i just had like the classic epsom salts as well the reviving ones i blame my friend kia who got me into bath salts because she was like you need to use these salts they're like amazing and now i'm hooked and i have about like five kilos of salts in my bathroom um right next we're gonna go on to another cleanser actually we have two cleansers so this is the elf super clarifying cleanser um here this is really gorgeous i bought this because i was going to film like a budget skincare routine and i've still not filmed it so i'll probably keep this but i've used the whole thing it's really nice it's a nice like light gel texture i don't think it's that incredible for taking off your eye makeup but it's like a second cleanse is really nice it's cheap and cheerful i think it's like a couple of pounds and it'll last you quite a long time and again like i i don't use any 
any cleansers that will strip your skin this won't strip your skin at all um it's a super super nice um hydrating but definitely more a second cleanse rather than a first cleanse same as the glow um glow tonic cleansing gel by pixie this is definitely more of a second cleanse i wouldn't use this to take off your makeup at all like your eye makeup it says for am and pm daily um even though it's got glycolic in there it doesn't sting or irritate your skin it doesn't leave it dry or stripped and it lasts you forever and it's just like a like a gel like texture um but yeah super super nice so they're my cleansers i think um and then we have the indeed labs hyaluron this is one of their like cult favorites for the brand it's a really lovely hyaluronic acid serum it's super light i feel like i can't just put this on my skin and then that's it because i feel even though i know it pulls moisture into my skin i don't feel like my skin's hydrated from it or like soft and supple so i always have to put something else on top like another moisturizer but in terms of a serum it's really really lovely um my skin loves it it helps it do feel like nice and plump afterwards but when i use a second product with it not on its own for some reason some people just use it on their own and they're they're great with it but for me for some reason i need to use something else the hydroluron gel moisturizer though however i could just put that on my skin my skin feels lovely and glowy and plump afterwards and then we have i was so sad when this was finished the oh my god this stuff that's like tipped out in here is all like sticky oh and there's a fox right by my window <laughs> um this is the sunday riley pink drink essence so this is kind of like i don't feel like this is just you can just label this as a mist i would say this is more of like a serum -y mist and it's really designed it's got a fermented honey and botanical extracts and it's to help your skin's natural microbiome and to resurface your skin I was kind of like, oh, I don't think it's going to do much for my skin because it's just like a mist. It's just going to hydrate my skin. And oh my God, I was so wrong. This is literally gorgeous. When I started using this, this is from the Karen Hyron's kit as well. I had this really, you might remember from my videos, really red, angry, dry, flaky bit here, which I think was from wearing the mask all the time. And my skin was kind of like not breathing and it was just like sweaty, but also dehydrated and dry. And I use this and it literally saved my skin. I use so many other things and this and the Mother Dirt, Mother Dirt Moisturizer is what helped. So I really feel like this is more of a serum rather than just a plain mist. Don't think it's just an average mist. It's so much more. Um, the spray is very like spits at you. I would say it's not a fine spray. It's quite like a harsh spray, but I still don't care. I use it after I tone. I think they said that you can use it before you tone, but in my head psychologically it's probably not true but in my head i'm like i'm just gonna wipe it off with a toner because i put my toner on a cotton pad so i cleanse tone and then i use the mist and then i go in with like another serum or a moisturizer but i love it i love it love it love it and i recommend it to a few other nurses who had the same issue with their skin they've bought it and they said it's literally like save their skin so i know it's not just me it works for it does actually work so i can't recommend that enough and then we have, I'm going to try and do skincare before I go on to other stuff. This is the Elixiri, I can't say this brand, the Skin Meditation. And this is this uh, Stress Neutralizing Cellular Energy Complex. They gifted this um, serum to me in the first wave of the pandemic. Again, sorry, it's all sticky stuff on there. Um, and it's super lovely. It's a lovely, calming, um, I would say quite a light um serum like more of like a moisturizer slash serum because it's like a creamy texture um but super nice and it really did help again to like strengthen my skin because my skin was just so compromised when i was wearing the mask all the time in the first pandemic so anything that can like strengthen my skin make it a bit more resilient i was using and my skin really did love this so they have like quite a wide range of different types of serums so go check them out if you're looking for something else not just to strengthen your skin like maybe more anti-aging or hydration or whatever but i loved it i really recommend that one 
and then another lovely serum which i loved is and i've done a youtube video on this is the thalgo sauce marine um hydrating serum so as you know i'm obsessed with their moisturizer like i love their moisturizer and they were so kind to gift me the whole sauce marine range which i've done a video on which is up on my channel um and this is the moisturizer which i finished i would take this into work because i love the fact that it was like a pump so i felt like it was really kind of um more hygienic rather than like putting my hands in a jar especially when i was in work so i would like kind of like top up my serum and just give my skin that extra hydration boost while i was in work and my skin loved it it's super light it's not sticky um you, it just soaks into your skin you really feel like you have that instant hydration relief um i literally love this moist um serum and then another hydration one is the polar source moisturizing gel again beautifully light moisturizer um if you have like more oily skin and you don't want something really thick then i would really recommend this because it gives you a lovely boost of hydration as you can tell i'm all about the hydration in this in my empties everything is moisture um but yeah it's perfect for oily skin if you want a nice boost of hydration but you don't want anything too thick and too heavy and you want your skin to feel like it can breathe but gives you that lovely glowy look it's funny when you look back in your empties and you can kind of see what stage your skin was at because sometimes i'm all about the acids and the retinols and like i really want to resurface my skin and then i can tell i'm all about like the hydration and just making my skin as soft and as supple as i can make it and then we have so another cleanser so this is the oskia i cannot say that either this is a cleansing gel anyway you would have seen this in my empties like a million times i think i had this 35 mil when when i bought their full size pump um and i just love it it's so soft it's like silk on your skin oh, it cleanses your face beautifully my friends love it when i've recommended it to them it's just a gorgeous gorgeous um cleanser and it contains loads of like enzymes as well so it really like helps a little bit to resurface your skin i find just to like give you that extra luminous luminosity um i love it love it love it love it i've talked about it loads so one waffle on and then we have the drunk elephant a passion e retinol cream which is here you can tell i've literally tried to get every last little drop out of this um i love this but it's so strong <laughs> there's a giant cat it's like being at a zoo in my flat right now there's a giant cat See if i can turn the camera around can you, no you can't see him oh let me see if you can see him because he's cute look at him he's just staring at me <laughs> in my video there we are we had a peek of the cat he's just staring at me now bless him if i go outside this cat will literally run away as well so he's such a little scaredy cat um yeah so back to skincare so the a pash passionini retinol cream i love this but it's so strong so it does really really work and i find my skin is kind of like going through that retinol kind of like barrier i've gone past that dry flaky stage um but yeah it's strong so just be careful i think when you use this because it's not it's not mild <laughs> at all but it does really work i'm kind of 50 50 with drunk elephant now because i don't really agree with the ethics of the brand and how they treat their customers but the but the products are good there's a few cult favorites of mine especially the lala whipped cream and the um maroon oil i'm obsessed with but like the company they don't treat the customers that well which kind of really puts me off ever buying something from them ever again um so i have another tube of this and to be honest i probably will just go to a medicate retinol after that because i agree with the company and how they manage themselves so much better another cleanser <laughs> is the evolve organic beauty gentle cleansing melt so this i've again spoke about this loads um this is like a marshmallow cleanser it smells gorgeous it's a vanilla scent it's got bohoba and vanilla it's like a marshmallowy silky smooth gel which goes into a beautiful milk and will just cleanse your face like a dream you can see maybe a little bit of the texture there it's just gorgeous i love this i've gone through oh, countless ones of these and i'll continue to buy them and use them because they are just lush and they're very organic and um natural if you like that type of stuff um some hair care bits as well so i my friend recommended devine's hair care line um and I'm always interested in finding out like new hair care products. So I bought the shampoo for oily scalp because I tend to have 
oily roots and dry ends so i thought i would try this and to be honest like i bought it from liberty it was 18 pound and i just don't think it was worth 18 quid for like 250 mils it was nice but it didn't really lather so i felt like i had to put loads on my hair to make sure i felt like i'd cleaned my hair well because if i put like a, a chunk on my top was washing it i couldn't really get anything then at the back so i'd have to put loads on i felt like i was using a lot of product to clean my hair properly and for the cost my hair did look really nice afterwards but I just don't think it's worth £18. So I, it's nice, but I won't be repurchasing that. And then the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Dry Shampoo is my best friend lately. Um, I really enjoy this. Normally, I use the Baptiste one, and now I'm using a Whey one because I'm trying different types of dry shampoo. And this was really nice. It was no, like, chalky white residue. Your hair felt actually, like, clean. It didn't feel flat and heavy. It felt like you just washed your hair. So I really love this, and I will definitely be a buyer another one of these but they are pricier so i think this is like 20 quid which you know is quite a lot for dry shampoo um we have just some standard smellies so like deodorant i always use the short invisible one the antibacterial one love that and then we've got the original source this one is uh, what's it apple and melon smells delicious love that it's like a pound nice cheap and cheerful um and then we've got the nursum hand cream so again i've done a video about this brand on my youtube you can watch it you know i love the brand i love the ethics of the brand what they do for nurses like the whole history behind them they're just amazing and they've been incredibly generous to us in my icu um by giving us loads of hand creams <laughs> um they're just so lovely this has got medical grade manuka honey um and pf 15 a restoring bio oils and white willow extract it's lovely because it really works it's deeply hydrating but instantly sinks into your into your skin so you're not there like with this sticky oily hands thinking oh my god i can't put gloves on which is like my biggest thing in work i want to be able to put my hand cream on it sink in and i can like just crack on with my jobs rather than i can't like get gloves on or this and the other when you got stuff to do for your patient so something that instantly sinks in but is deeply hydrating. That is what I like in a hand cream, which is actually quite hard to find. So this one, and I'm using one from Aesop now, which I also love. And then another skincare empty is, and I was just talking about this actually, I forgot that I finished this. So this is the Drunk Elephant, it's got hair on it, sorry. <laughs> the Drunk Elephant Luxury Marula Oil. I love this, like I said, love the products, but the fucking brand is not that nice to people. Like literally, I remember when it all kicked off online and if someone said they had like an issue because of the product, they instantly like dismissed what the customer was saying. They were saying, no, it must be something else that you've been using. Our brands can't possibly give you any sort of adverse reaction or your skin can't possibly not get on with our products. And we're actually quite rude to customers when it's like deleting their comments. And I'm like, you can't silence your customers, you know, like you need to listen to feedback because without customers, your brand's nothing. But anyway, <laughs> but I love this oil but I don't think I'll probably repurchase it to be honest I love like also the glow by Annie oil um I'm, I love the Bamford oil that I'm using right now so even though this is gorgeous and is beautiful I probably would not repurchase this just because of the ethics of the brand and then another oh I fell in love with this do you have a car in Hyron's kits like every single product in there i was like love this love this love this can't live without this that autumn kit like saved my skin because my skin was in such a sorry state and i used all of the products as like a regime i didn't I use really anything else and it literally like reset my face so thanks for that babes i like love you for it uh the joss rose book daily acid toner this is gorgeous is like it says, a daily toner is gentle enough that you can use every single day, um, but it doesn't, it's really effective of like resurfacing your skin and kind of like lifting your skin and brightening it up, but it doesn't, you know, it's not harsh, so you can use it daily. It's just, 
this is perfect it's like really gentle but really works and i did find like it brightened my complexion give me like a lovely fresh glow and kind of like help like shift that little layer of like dead skin and excess sebum and stuff like that like after my um after i cleansed i loved it and he's i think he's got like a retinol facial oil that i really want to try as well but i would definitely repurchase this it's lovely and it lasted me quite a long time i think it's 100 mils and it lasted me a good a good while and then we have the Sol Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I just bought the mini one. I think there's like the 75ml because I wanted to try it out because I know everyone raves about it. Oh my god, I love it. But it's so goddamn expensive. But it smells insane. I also have their body mist, which I use in work. And everyone is like, what's that smell? What's that smell? Oh my god, your perfume is amazing. Because it smells like a perfume. And it's not. It's literally their body spray. And I have so many compliments. Even one of the Filipino nurses in work the other day, she was like, I need to write this down. Because it makes it smells like holiday. Like, it just smells gorgeous. It's salted caramel and pistachio. It's super thick, super creamy, deeply hydrating. A little will go a long way. But well, one day I just dream that I'll have their giant, giant tub because it's just delish. And then we have just some um, shampoo and conditioner just from L'Oreal. This is their dreamy lengths because my hair is getting quite long. So I bought these ones. I think I liked it. I didn't like not like it. I've tried, I'm trying now their clay one, which I don't like. I find that makes my hair feel really like still quite greasy and heavy. But this is super nice. I love that. I can't remember anything like particularly bad to say about it or good to say about it. I just remember I like, was like, it's good. And then we have the Bodium Birch Chamomile Sky. I go through so many of these. I think there's at least one in my empty all the time. I use this as like bubble bath. So I put it in the bath. You get like a lovely foam from it. It smells gorgeous. It's like a lovely consistency. It's just really lovely just to help you kind of like relax. The pump, to be honest, is not great. You have like the smallest amount. So I tend just to like open it and then tip it on like my loofah or in the bath. Then I've got a shower gel, grapefruit and mandarin from Element Herb Herbology. This is really nice, smells gorgeous, lovely pump. You get lots of product out when you're pumping it, which I like. Smells lush, good lather, like super nice product. Then we have some little random bits left over. This is the, um, the Polar Icy Magic. I actually broke this on accident, but this is the eye cream. So this is like the Instant Eye Contour Energizer. Really like this eye cream. It's a really light gel, and it really does help to kind of like lift your eye up as well. So perfect if you're looking quite tired. I don't think it really helps with um, dark circles, but it helps us to kind of like really lift your eye. So love that, and I love the applicator. I'm so sorry that I broke it, but it comes with like a, a metal ball which really helps to deep up your eyes in the morning as well because you can just gently roll that back and forth with the product on there so love the applicator i wish i could show it to you but i broke it we got a baby dry shampoo i think when i bought the full size one i had a little one for free so that's a little baby one which i've used up and then we have, this is disgusting, this is so dirty. And um, this is the Moroccan oil in light. I loved this hair oil. It's just so gorgeous. I have the light one because my hair gets weighed down really easily. But it soaks in really well. It doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy. I've just tried, where is it? I've just tried, it's over there. I just tried the Inky Lish, what's it called? Shea Oil Nourishing Hair Oil. I put that in my hair and my hair actually looks like grease. So I'm not getting along well with this one. But this is something which I loved. My hair loved it and it lasted for ages as well. This is the 100ml bottle. It comes with a pump. I lost the pump so I'll just tip it on my hand. Um, but it's just perfect to really like nourish your ends and strengthen your ends and make them really soft and supple as well. Then we've got like an eye patch from Temple Spa, I Will Survive. Really lovely cooling eye patches just to help like relax and deep puff your under eyes. I have a little mini Charlotte Magic Cream in Light, which was also from the Karen Hyron's kit. I love the Magic Cream. They are gorgeous creams. Perfect primers for under your makeup. Really deeply hydrating but like sinking in a second and gives you like a lovely glow um this i really liked i think this would be the perfect summer alternative because the other ones are really thick so i really really did like this and it would probably make me go buy it at some point 
and then we got the Laura Mercier um panoramic mascara which is this I had a little sample of this I can't remember where from maybe it's from Space and K and I loved it and I went out then and bought the full size mascara it's probably one of the best mascaras I've tried in a long time it gives you like really good length the color is gorgeous it doesn't flake off it's just a lovely gorgeous 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 mascara so can't recommend that one enough if you have the chance to try it and then we just have some like little crappy bits at the bottom so sensodyne toothpaste because i don't like sls in my toothpaste and then we have some fem fresh because you've got to keep yourself fresh gaylies and you should never use shower gel on your vagina only ever use like ph balance products so fem fresh all the way um and then that is literally it i have like a few little just like mini shower gel things which you're probably not interested in um but yeah thank you this is a big empties because it's been a while 26 minutes long i can see so i know it's been a while i'm gonna try and be more consistent sorry that i've not been consistent but i hope you like this video please go like and subscribe drop a little comment below give me a little thumbs up and i'll see you guys soon bye